Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Green Gourmet for another recipe. And I'm so glad I actually made this recipe for you because it's my version of a vegan Caesar salad and it's full of Brussels sprouts goodness, but it's definitely not boring because it's got creaminess and heaps of flavor from the bean dressing, satisfying crunch from the croutons and the sweet, salty and slightly smoky pops of flavor from the smoked almond bacon. And it's got Brussels sprouts, which are absolutely healthy and full of benefits. So before we get down to cooking together, please subscribe to my channel Green Gourmet, like this recipe, share it with any people you think would appreciate a nice, very delicious vegan recipe. And let me know in the comments if you make it what you think about it. So let's get down to cooking. The first thing, of course, are the Brussels sprouts. So just chop them up. I actually did them in halves and then again in halves That's because I don't want them too big, but I don't even want them too thin because in this recipe, the Brussels sprouts are not raw. They are oven cooked. And then you season them with oil, salt and pepper and stick them in the oven while the Brussels sprouts cook and roast nicely in the oven. We move on to the almond bacon. I love almonds made with this recipe. You can actually use it not only for this recipe, but also as a snack while you're like watching TV, or you can pop it on any other sort of salad. I also like to put it on top of my um, baked or steamed vegetables because it gives them a really fantastic flavor because it's a little bit sweet because there's maple syrup in it uh, but at the same time it's salty because of the soy sauce and of course it is smoked because I am using liquid smoke in this recipe and you mix up all the sauce ingredients and you toss all your almonds in there and you let them sit for a few minutes in the meantime your Brussels sprouts will be ready and I use the same oven tray to cook the almonds on just make sure you spread them out a little bit because because of the tomato paste and the uh, maple syrup otherwise they tend to stick together and you're going to have a huge chunk of smoked almonds instead of having the separate almonds even though you can break them up later on when they come out of the oven and now one of the things that I think is one of the most delicious things of this salad which is the dressing Believe me, it's 100% wow. It tastes like the real deal, but the difference is that I think that it's not so heavy. I've not been vegan my entire life. I turned vegan nine years ago and I used to love Caesar salads, but it always felt like kind of heavy. And um, I think that this one combines a little bit of the flavors of the original thing and the capers actually give it the nice salty flavor that comes from the anchovies in the original recipe. And you basically take all the ingredients from the sauce, you put them in a blender and you blend them until they're nice and smooth. This is what the almonds would look like after approximately seven or eight minutes. So just make sure that when you put them in the oven, you actually check on them because once they're almost ready, it takes them literally very little time to become 100% ready and you run the risk of burning them completely. So just check on them while they're cooking in the oven and they're almost done and the final part is of course the croutons I am using as you can see dark bread because I really like it and I made them in a pan you can make them in the oven or you can make them in the air fryer which is one of my favorite ways lately to make them because at least I don't have to wash out the pan even if I have to wash out the air the air fryer but still you can make them in the pan as I'm doing them now very traditionally with uh, some extra virgin olive oil and it takes literally a couple of minutes to get them done. And then as a salad here, I'm using Valerian salad. You can use anything you want. You can use lettuce, you can use any kind of salad you want. And then of course, after the salad, you put the Brussels sprouts. I am actually loading this because I like to use it as a light lunch or like 
main course if I kind of load it as I'm doing it as I'm doing here because as you can see I'm really loading it also with the cream but you can also use this as a side dish to some sort of roast it goes very well with anything and then I put a little bit of cream before I put the croutons and the almonds because I like like to create the layers with the cream I really love this cream so that's the reason why I do this so, so basically then you put on your almonds you put on the croutons a little more cream and it really is a fantastic combination it tastes so much better from my point of view than the traditional Caesar salad and it's just so much lighter and it's yum yum I think you can see it from my face this is one of my favorite salads for let's say the fall winter season I think it's al bacio if you don't try it, you're missing out. I hope you like this recipe and let me know what you think about it. And if I did leave you longing for more, subscribe to my channel, Green Gourmet. And thank you very much. See you very soon on Green Gourmet for another recipe, another adventure and a new video. Bye for now.